The Mandela Garden of 95 Trees is one of four iconic projects dedicated to the benevolence and good leadership qualities of former South African President Dr. Nelson Mandela. The rest are located in Johannesburg, South Africa, New York and London, approved by the United Nations, which declares July 18 of every year Nelson Mandela Day. Governor Emmanuel Dwan, who commissioned the project, paid tribute to the sterling qualities of Dr. Mandela, saying the former South Africa's president's struggle for human equality and peace was well known. He said Delta State had placed environment issues in the front burner and had keyed into international solutions to tackle environmental problems, particularly pollution and erosion. Governor Dwan appealed to residents of the state to do more to conserve the environment by teaching children to love the environment. He pledged support for the project. For us in Delta, the issue of environment has been in the top corner. Since 2007, when I became governor, we've tried to deal with the challenges of environment. Delta State is located in such a way that we have two main environmental challenges. The third one, the certification, has not reached yet. But environmental pollution as a result of oil exploration is very much with us. Governor Udwan, accompanied by members of the Mandela family, later unveiled a statue of Dr. Nelson Mandela. Dr. Mandela's grandson, Ndaba, who led the Mandela family, said the family and South Africans were overwhelmed by the share of love by the state government and Dr. Newton Jubiner through the Mandela Garden of 95 Trees. Mr. Mandela, who is the founder of the South African-based youth development NGO, Africa Rising Foundation, advised Africans to fight against climate problems to enhance development. In a goodwill message, the South African Council General in Nigeria, Ambassador Mokatu Musnaisa, said the project was a celebration of the good human values Dr. Nelson Mandela promoted, adding that the project would promote patriotism in Africa. He thanked Delta State for supporting the project. Today, in celebration and in recognition of the work done by the likes of Nelson Mandela towards humanity, we are called upon to dedicate this garden of 95 trees to 95 years that God has blessed humanity with the presence of his son in our midst. An environmental conservationist, General Theophilus Danjuma, commended Governor Dwan for the choice of Asaba International Airport for the project, saying the project would promote tourism in the state. The Nigerian Conservation Foundation, led by Chief Philip Asiodo, represented by Mr. Desmond Majikodumi, stressed the need for planting of trees to replace the nation's depleted rainforest. Goodwill messages also came from the former Chairman Senate Committee on Environment, Senator Grace Bent, and the head of private banking, FBN Bank, United Kingdom, who commended Governor Dwanga for the high level of infrastructural development in the state, and the wife of the Governor of Ogun State, Mrs. Olufun Shaw Amosun. The founder of Fight Against Desert Environment, Dr. Newton Jibuno, said the project crowned his ever 40 years of fighting desertification, flooding, as well as the development of the arts, adding that the project was inspired by Dr. Mandela's love for peace, development, and environmental conservation. He said the first phase of the project had trees and shrubs, a map of South Africa and Nigeria, to symbolize the role Nigeria played in crumbling appetite, while the second phase will be provided with a conference center, a game reserve, and children's amusement park, where children will learn environmental conservation. Dr. Jibuno thanked all environmentalists for their support. Governor Udwanga and dignitaries, including members of the Mandela family, also turned the project.